my soccer universe to another unpacking video. This time the Asian collection is growing again. I'm wearing Japan, which I already should tell you, this is not a Japan jersey. It's another doubling up though, uh, which means uh, you have already South Korea, Iran. Ir uh, South Korea have already two. I recently got this 2010 uh, home jersey. Then we have, of course, Iran and Australia. So let's see who I got. I still have to tell you that... Uh, where are my scissors? Oh, that's... Let's tear it open. Still have to tell you that I'm looking for two more Asian teams for sure. Uh, which is Saudi Arabia and Qatar because I need them for the World Cup in a way. But yeah, let's get it going. Let's get this parcel open. Oops, there's some tape on the jersey. That is interesting. And then I tell you A, a story and B, why I went for this particular jersey. So this is some of the <laughs> worst packaging that I have seen in a long time. Uh, what the heck is going on here? Well, it fits with the story. Just, um, I mean, I can give it away. It's another Australia jersey. But do you see the tape here? And do you see the tape here? What? What? That's not what I want on my jersey because the tape, I mean... It actually comes off clean, so in that sense, I'm not unhappy. But it's, uh, yeah. To get this jersey, <laughs> I saw this, and you know, I know this will post now um, way after because I wanna only make one um, unpacking video per week. I saw this jersey uh, now, the uh, 1st of July, I saw this two weeks ago. Um, I said, okay, yeah, I probably need a second Australia jersey because the one that I have, which is this one here, it's the one from 2006, is a really, really nice one. Um, however, it has two flaws. A, I do know there's a, like a soccer ball on the crest. I think that solution that I found to put the Federation logo in there is a little, is cooler. Yes, I would like to have a player version where you have the full coat of arms of all, all Australia, but more importantly, I always liked Australia. I've been wearing this jersey a lot and you can see a teeny bit of wear on the crest here. So I guess I want to retire this one and get one uh, that, um, you know, that I can wear a little bit more. So I, after Australia qual qualified, yes, I wanted Peru to qual qualify, but after Australia qualified, I thought, I thought this is probably now the perfect opportunity to get a second Australia jersey. Potentially an away jersey, although I think I also wanted to have a home jersey. So I'm not done yet with Australia because uh, I said it, Australia is... Uh, I mean, when I was in my uh, late teens, early 20s, Australia was my dream country. And so on, I had a big trip there, blah, blah, blah. Love Australia and always supported them during their World Cups and so on. Um, so yeah, and then I saw this particular jersey and let's show it yes it has the cloth crest so all happy with that it's of course also from the 2010 world cup uh it's a little bit weird because on the front and on the back it's a little bit different but i actually i always like this a little bit more green on the jersey and as you see cloth crest this is what i wanted and um yeah it's not perfect but yeah, so uh, before we go a little bit deeper <laughs> in, into them, so I saw this particular jersey and um, I was lying uh, at, at the lake, it was a hot day and I was uh, scrolling to, through and then I decided, okay, uh, seller was selling this for 30 something, uh, including shipping, which I didn't like. And um, I know haggling in Austria is not a big thing, but uh, he offered it through the special service that they have they're called pay livery where you can actually make an offer and i tried this actually with a german 2014 away which never got accepted and now the jersey is not available anymore uh but you know so be it but yeah i always try to at least offset the shipping cost uh because i hate paying for shipping because if you buy from many different sellers it always is a pain in the you know where offered he accepted it Great. Uh, so paid, I think, uh, overall 27 uh, he accepted for that. And I was very happy. And then uh, over the weekend, they don't get a message, blah, blah, blah. And I asked him on Tuesday, um, will the jersey get sent soon? Because, you know, he has and I said, I cannot find it. 
I will have to look at my second apartment. I said, yeah, please, please, please find it because I really want to have this jersey. Uh, he writes to me on Friday, I'm sorry, I really cannot find it. And I said, but you know, I can always uh, return to the to, to, to money, but I will look one more. And then I said, okay, let, let, me, uh, let, let me look at what else he was offering. And I think he was also offering from 2010 a Mexico jersey, but in L, this one is XL. And so I kind of said, yeah, uh, if he did, you know, you can send me the Mexico shirt and uh, it's a done deal. And he was about to do that. He had canceled that transaction, which he didn't need to. And then he sent me, OMG. I found it. Okay, great. Sent the money, and now uh, this was then the Sunday. I sent the money on Monday, and you know it is now Friday. Took a whole week until it arrived here, uh, but I'm very, very, very happy uh, to get this jersey. As I said, I wanted to have a second Australia jersey. I think that from the look, the 2014 looked probably a little bit better, more classy. But I have to say, I always liked this big um, green patches up there. And you know, the 2010 World Cup is kind of near and dear to, to tomorrow. And of course, it has the <laughs> Band-Aid <laughs> patches that the uh, jerseys had there. But I have actually now quite a few Nike jerseys from 2010. I have the Netherlands jersey, I have the Australia jersey, I have the South Korea jersey, I have the Croatia jersey, but they were not at the World Cup. Uh, I'm building up a slight collection. So yeah. Very happy with this. Uh, two Australian jerseys. I really would like to have a dark blue one as well. Uh, story behind that is that when I bought the 2006 one in the same store, they were also selling the dark blue one. I said, no, I want to have a yellow one because it's a little bit more Australia. Uh, ideally, it would be the 2016-17 one, which I actually saw last year and then I just didn't pounce on it, uh, which I'm a little bit regretting because that one was an awesome jersey, awesome looking shirt. So yeah, again, I'm not only getting for ready for the World Cup, I'm also looking forward already towards the Asian Cup, which I probably will try to cover a teeny bit on my channel as well. So yeah, uh, that's why I need a few more Asian shirts and that's why this Australia shirt comes in quite handy. Again, I wish that the back and the front would look somewhat similarly. Uh, and yeah, also, uh, this was an Australia team that all, that <laughs> were downed by Germany rather early. Then I think they pulled off a draw against Ghana and beat Serbia and were a goal away from advancing. So there you go. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you had any story like this before. And yeah, I'm still thinking about that Mexico shirt as well because, you know, 2010. It is where I started with my quantitative um, journey in predicting uh, soccer games. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.